Now we turn to the U.S. state of Florida. Emergency crews have given up any hope of finding survivors in a condo building which collapsed two weeks ago. Authorities announced they will direct efforts to recovering more remains. They say they have run out of every available option in the search and rescue, and there was no chance of life. The death toll has risen to 54, and 86 people are still missing. It's still unclear what caused the incident two weeks ago. A 2018 engineering report had pointed out structural deficiencies. Officials demolished the remainder of the building on Sunday. Meanwhile, reporters got their closest look yet at the wreckage. Jim Spellman reports from the site. For the first time since this disaster, reporters are being allowed close-up access to the debris left from the collapse of this condominium building, and then later when they did a controlled demolition to bring down what was standing. So we're gonna get up close and see the work that these crews have been doing. Chunks of concrete, mangled rebar, twisted metal, a massive pile of rubble and debris. So this is the part of the building that was imploded, the front part, the part that originally collapsed is on the back side. The debris is removed one truck at a time. It is then examined for any residents' belongings and is available for investigators as they piece together the cause of the collapse. These crews have been working uh, around the clock. Captain Ignatius Carroll is with Florida Task Force 2, an urban search and rescue team that has been working on site since the building collapsed June 24th. And we have an 80-member team that is here on site that was deployed when requested after the uh, surf site collapse. Captain Carroll shot this video of Florida Task Force 2 at work. Since the remaining part of the building was brought down in a controlled demolition Sunday night, the pace of the operation has increased and created safer working conditions for rescue teams. That has been a, a, a tremendous relief and now that allows us to move forward with searching the entire area, which has been our, our mission. Florida Task Force 2 is just one component of this massive response. There are urban search and rescue teams from around the country participating in this search and rescue effort. This team is from Pennsylvania. Other teams traveled from Israel and Mexico. The conditions have been extremely difficult for them, especially in the last few days when we've had heavy winds and rain coming in to complicate what was already a difficult mission. They have been forced to pause operations several times when conditions became too dangerous and when lightning was present. Meteorologists are now embedded with the search and rescue teams. The hope is what keeps us going. The hope that the family have of at least having some answers our hope of being able to bring some closure, if not uh, bring family members back to them so that they can properly mourn them. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Surfside, Florida.